The sun is out. People, People are, are dancing and having a great time. Lining up without the umbrella in hand like we've yes. had over the last couple of weekends. Too much of that. That sounds fun. And now I'm hungry after <laughs> the food fest. But it's a gorgeous afternoon. What if did you that want story to mean to you? Now we know. <laughs> the food outside. And even better for tomorrow for all of those Sunday picnics. Checking on over on in the Tri-Valley right now. Hello in Dublin. 69 degrees. Clear blue skies for our Saturday night. Oakland also had a pretty nice day. It was a bit breezy at times, but things are winding down 64 there for you now and San Francisco International Airport. We can see the trees right there rustling in the wind temperatures in those mid 60s. And as we take a look at our satellite and radar, we are pretty clear throughout the majority of the state. Any of that cloud cover is off to the shore and I don't think it will mess with our late evening plans or even onto our Sunday when we just want to dash out the door, get all those errands done. Mostly clear night, a few high clouds rolling around midnight, but then that's it. We go into Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon afternoon with some clear skies compared to what we had today with that dense fog hanging around through the mid-morning hours. There's still lots to do around the Bay Area. Earth Day Festival tomorrow in Palo Alto at the Reconda Library. And look at that. You need your sunglasses, your sunscreen, and to celebrate all things Earth Day. And maybe you want to go to the city for uh, your first Giants game this season. Diamondbacks and the Giants at 105 tomorrow. The sunshine there, upper 60s. And those winds calm. It could get gusty at times around 15 to 20 miles an hour, but still should be a good time to wrap up with some baseball this weekend. Our temperatures not only in the city looking warm, but also along the Bay Shore, 77 in Hayward. And we do a couple more 80s as we move farther on into Fairfield, Santa Rosa, and down here in San Jose. We keep the good vibes going on into Monday as well with 60s along the coast, 68 in San Mateo, the peninsula, 64 Half Moon Bay, to those upper 70s inland. And notice that we're losing more of those 80s, starting to wind things down, cool things back up as that driver of high pressure moves away from the Bay Area. More of that cloud cover, you're start to, you'll start to feel it on Wednesday, Thursday, and here comes Friday next weekend. We're watching the chance of that rain system develop, kind of form itself together here as the models update hour by hour here, and we could be looking at those rain chances starting late Thursday on into Friday with more of that Sierra snow, and as far as rain goes on for our Saturday, we'll continue to watch those details, but you watch this estimate right here as we look at ahead into the next couple of days, 10 days out about, we're looking at a chance of seeing maybe a quarter inch of rain in the Bay Area, a little bit further on into the inland uh, uh, valleys. We are looking at some uh, more uh, estimates going up into one to two inches. So overall, we're going to enjoy this drying trend uh, throughout the Bay Area. Those sunglasses, the sunscreen, and that car wash, like I mentioned, should <laughs> hold over the next couple of days. And we will see those temperatures cooling down in our inland valleys from the 80s back down into the 70s and those upper 60s turning cooler by next Friday, Terry.